What do you get when you take an excellent photo camera, add important improvements to the video functionality over the previous release, and then market it terribly, the money, buy the R5 specifically, but don't be worried about the R6, it's great too. Are you a hybrid Canon shooter and you're happy with the quality? I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This, the Sony a7S III, is incredible. I haven't had this much fun filming with a camera in so long. And you know for sure is that this a7S III kind of has everything I this want. This camera is something that a lot of people have been waiting very, very patiently. It's the best content creator camera, in my opinion, that's ever come. I've got to say this is a huge step up. We're getting way less noise in low light. Drastically improved rolling shutter. 120 frames per second is incredible.
Good morning. You're listening to Radio 108.5 and these are your morning headlines. The UK will be entering Tier 6 restrictions from today, meaning no one will be allowed out of their homes until further notice. All essential supplies will need to be ordered online and a permit will have to be issued via the .gov website for anyone wishing to leave their house for exceptional circumstances. The government has stressed that anyone stopped outside their homes by the police without a relevant permit will be placed under arrest and subsequently charged. In other news, the Foreign Secretary has today announced that... The The time has now come for us all to do more. I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. So you've been living on your own in lockdown and you're feeling pretty isolated, right? I haven't seen a soul for 10 months. We've seen children stuck at home, people's businesses closed, people's lives, tiny, just tiny, tiny fragments of their lives left. Well, my health had been going down, spiralling, and I just got to the stage, um, literally at the end of December, I just can't do this anymore.
18 months ago, I dropped a video showing how I started flying FPV drones. I enjoyed making this video a lot, but it was definitely missing out some key details. April 2020, at the height of the pandemic, when we were all locked up, I decided to switch off the deeply depressing news and turn my attention to learning FPV. Something that I'd wanted to learn for a long time, but I'd always masked over with the common excuse of, I don't have time right now. Well, in July 2020, I had been given the gift of time, since every single one of my jobs for that month had been cancelled. Okay, thanks for letting me know. But I was still hesitant. So I found something else to occupy my time, which was creating a hyperlapse film. I'm really proud of this film, but once that was done, the same nagging thought came to the front of my mind, which was, what about FPV? If I'm being honest with myself, I think it was the first time in my career as a video creator that I generally thought that I wouldn't be able to do something. From my research into this world, it required time figuring out which drone is best for me and which parts to buy. It required time building the drones, learning about electronics, practicing in a virtual simulator, understanding battery voltages so I don't burn my house down. And the scary part, which is flying a drone in full manual mode that has significantly more power than a DJI drone I had flown before with no additional safety features such as return to home or sensors on the drone. This really did seem extremely far beyond what I thought I was capable of. And if I'm honest, the fear of failure overcame me, which did get me down a bit. I knew it would take many weeks and months of dedication, so I had to ask myself the question, is it even worth it? I've always loved watching footage from the FPV perspective and found myself on a number of occasions watching countless FPV drone videos from incredible locations or just flying through buildings and the footage is truly mesmerizing. So yes, for me it was definitely worth it. Being able to capture that unique type of shot not capable with any other type of drone or camera device I knew would eventually make all the inevitable heartache worthwhile. So after watching many YouTube videos on how to get started in FPV, I took the plunge and bought the gear. Spent much longer than what is normal building and then practicing in a simulator before finally taking my first flight, which of course did not go to plan. Once I did finally get up in the air, it was a great feeling, but like with any new skill, it would take time before I would start to build that muscle memory which would eventually allow me to fly the way I wanted. Summer of 2020, this had become my obsession, and I was learning something new about FPV every single day, which is an amazing feeling. Something that wise people always talk about is that you learn more from your failures, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. In the first couple of months of flying, I was making mistakes on such a regular basis that I was basically immune to the feeling of failure. I was just embracing it. Collaboration is the key to faster growth. I'm quite an introverted person and a bit of a loner, so I was quite content on flying and learning by myself. One of the best things to help progress my level though had been to bump into my now good friend Marco, aka Gnosis FPV, whilst we were both practicing in a very popular FPV spot one day. Since then we've practiced many times together and as he has more experience and is a lot better pilot, he has helped me progress me further in a much short space of time, whilst making flying even more enjoyable having someone to share those successes and failures with. Hello man. This is uh, Marco. And Marco, Gnosis FPV. The prop. <laughs> How was the session for you, mate? It was amazing, but uh, I broke my drone, as you know. Fast forward a few months and crashes became more infrequent. I was spending less money on new parts and less time repairing broken parts. 
I was starting to feel the muscle memory in my fingers that I really wanted in order to be comfortable flying. The more videos I uploaded to my Instagram and YouTube, I started to get some inquiries into flying corporate shoots and music videos. I'm hoping to be able to fly more for professional jobs in the future, but even if that doesn't happen, entering this hobby really has given me so much joy over the past year. And on reflection, this process was not just about me learning how to fly an FPV drone. It was about overcoming fears, putting myself out of my comfort zone in order to progress. It was about understanding that things may seem unachievable in the beginning, but can be achieved in small steps if you stick at it and want it bad enough.